celebrate Father's Day 1967, here is Father Groucho Marx and his daughter. will be playing game two. While sitting in for their son, game one spotlights Les Brown, Derwood Derby, and Charlie Barnett. So there'll be many a surprise coming your way when we return to play our father's favors of the dating game right after this message. Back now to Jim Lang and the dating game. You know... It isn't often that three young men find themselves being questioned by the father of the girl they'll be dating before they even get to date her. But then Sunday is Father's Day, and we do have a trio of willing bachelors. And here they are. <laughs> Gentlemen, the best of luck to you. An actor and a director, bachelor number one was a star defensive end for the University of Miami and has now broadened his sports outlook to include skydiving and racing motorcycles. He's from New York City. We'd like you to welcome Gary Wood. Gary, good luck. International sales is the ultimate goal of bachelor number two, who is an assistant to the vice president in charge of marketing for a major company. As an international gesture, he wrote for a Swiss magazine for a year. He's from Trenton, New Jersey. Here's Lou D'Ambrosio. Lou. And an express company representative, bachelor number three, was born in Green Forest, Arkansas, and is nursing a strong desire to learn how to fly. He likes all sports, particularly rugby. We'd like you to say hello to Troy Fancher. And there's a fine panel of future sons-in-law ready to meet another of our special Father's Day guests. And of course, in order to keep him from hearing the introductions of our three bachelors, we've kept him best we could, isolated in a soundproof booth. May we introduce him to you right now. A member of a family who are legend in American show business, it's only natural that his daughter is pursuing a theatrical career. Born here in Los Angeles, she enjoys travel, painting, and the guitar. And because tomorrow is Father's Day, her father will be asking the questions for her. Ladies and gentlemen, may we ask you to welcome Melinda Marx's father, a gentleman known simply as Groucho. Hello, Groucho. How are you? Well, I have to be enthusiastic with you on the show. It's a very good show. I've watched it frequently. Thank you. You know how to play the game then, right? Uh, the game? You say a secret word and the duck comes down. Oh. Uh, <laughs> can I talk about it? No. There are three gentlemen back there, and I want you to question them, figure out which one Wait would be minute. best How for me. How do you know they're gentlemen? Well, I, well, I know that. The fact that a man wears pants doesn't necessarily mean he's a gentleman. Then you're going to have to find out. for example. <laughs> you're going to have to find out then. All right, well, I'm... All right, we're going to have them say hello to you anyway. Maybe you can tell something by their voices. Bachelor number one, would you say hi to Groucho, please? Good afternoon, Groucho. Thank you. Number two? Hello, Groucho. And number three? Hi, Dad. Dad? <laughs> Well, you know, he's not going to get any of that. <laughs> Groucho, jump up in the seat here, and I'll tell you, if you have some questions... For... Jump up? Well, climb. <laughs> Do your Who best. Do you think this is? <laughs> Sandy Koufax? <laughs> Gentlemen, I wish you luck. Groucho, go ahead. Are you ready for me to ask? I'm ready for anything. I didn't ask you that. <laughs> All right, uh, first one. They're over here, I guess. Mean, Say the secret word and you can win the game. <laughs> the first one, please answer. Say the secret word and he wins the game. Is he dead? No, no, no. Say the secret word. Say the secret word and you can win a date with my daughter. I'd like a date with your daughter very much. Now, what about the second one? How would you answer that? Everybody believe that? Throw a dollar on the floor. <laughs> Third one. Uh, Grant Say the is the secret word and you can win a date with my daughter. Now, what would you answer to that? Grant is buried in Grant's tomb. <laughs> Apparently, we've got three third-rate comics over <laughs> All right, second question. If you brought my daughter home and you were on the front porch and saw me watching you through the window, how would you say goodnight to her? Well, if I caught you catching me kissing her goodnight, I'd kiss her goodnight, and I'd turn to you and say goodnight to you. So would you kiss me goodnight? <laughs> no. 
No, but I would remind you that for hundreds of years, thousands have lived without love, but not without water. <laughs> What do you say? There's nuts without water? Can this, can this show be edited? What I'm going to say. Who, who was that? Was that the first that one? Was one. Yeah. How about the second one now? You don't have to have me repeat this question. I'm sure you remember it, don't you? <laughs> well, if I saw you watching me, I'd sneak around to the back door. It's very silly. What you should do is join the CIA. <laughs> What about the third one? What would your reaction be if you caught me spying on you? Well, I, I think what I'd do is, if I caught you spying on me, that means you would be tried, I mean, concealed, so I would shake hands and say goodnight. Break clean. Oh. <laughs> it's not only clean, but dull. <laughs> now, the third, uh, well, let's start over again now with the third question. What do you have to offer my daughter if she decides to marry you? Would you, would you support me in the manner to which I'm accustomed? <laughs> that is a question that there is some question about. <laughs> but she would live with a charming, handsome, aggressive, ambitious, good-looking guy. Me! <laughs> you mean you plan on marrying <laughs> well, I'm, After hearing about myself, I think I'm going to marry me. <laughs> You're going to be awfully bored. <laughs> what about the second chap over there on the third question? I don't I, remember the question. No, I, I remember it. I could offer her love, fame, wealth, and happiness. Not of my own, but probably most of hers. <laughs> oh, I hate to quit, Roger, but that's it. Time's up. That's all the information you have. You may see me again, and one of those will be a date. You have to make the decision in just a moment. Meanwhile, we'll take time out for this message. Game, and a very unique game it was. Groucho, you talked to him a little bit. Found out that... Uh, I found out nothing. I found out that they were funnier than I was. <laughs> They tried, anyway, and one of them is going to be a date for your daughter. Now, which one will it be? Will it be bachelor number one, Groucho, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Which one do you trust? <laughs> what a question to ask a father. <laughs> Could I hear them again just say something, please? All right, so num all right number one. Uh, I'll sing something. Uh, number one, would you just say something to Groucho, please? Nine out of 15 people revolve around the sun. All right. Number two. The sun. Oh. Number two? Number two, would you say something? Would you say something? Groucho, I hope you make the right choice tonight. All right. And number three? Number three? I do too. All right. That's it. Now, on the basis of that added help, what do you think, Groucho? I think the second one. Number two. All right. We'll see. Now, before, before we meet them, I would like our audience to meet your daughter, a very lovely lady they saw at the opening of the show dancing with you. She's an actress, a singer, enjoys travel and painting, and a lovely gal. Plays guitar, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Melinda Marks. Melinda, if you would. Hi, dear. Your dad. What do you think of his choice? You don't know yet, huh? What do you think of my choice? You did a beautiful job. <laughs> meet the gentleman. You didn't choose bachelor number one. You took number two, but number one we want you to meet. He was a star defensive end for the University of Miami, an actor and director from New York City, Mr. Gary Wood. Gary, if you would, please come on, say hello to Groucho and Melinda. Melinda, Gary, come on right in here, Gary. And you can slide over there next to Dad, Melinda. You also didn't choose bachelor number three, Groucho. He's a rugby player, uh, express company representative right now from Green Forest, Arkansas, Troy Fancher. Troy, come on and meet Groucho and Melinda. Melinda Troy. Troy did a beautiful job. Thank both you. of you gentlemen, very funny. And we have a musical double feature for both of you. First of all, a completely automatic home record player and speakers. And for every musical appetite, you'll also receive a library of Warner Brothers and Reprise albums. Highlighted by Bill Cosby's latest album, It's Revenge. And many thanks for playing the Daily Gable Live.
Troy, thank you. Gary, nice try. Now, Groucho and Melinda, let's meet the gentleman. Bring out this scoundrel who's going to take my job. <laughs> Let me tell you something about him. He is a pretty good uh, fellow, as a matter of fact. He's an assistant to the vice president in charge of marketing for a major company. He's originally from Trenton, New Jersey. He can't be bad. He's from Trenton. Your date, Melinda, Lou D'Ambrosio. Lou, if you would, please come and say hello to Groucho and Melinda. Come on over here, Lou, and stand next to Melinda. Melinda, this is Lou, and I'll tell you what's going to happen. We feel sure you won't have the slightest whim about dropping in uh, with Lou for a casual visit with a Hollywood star. As a matter of fact, you may already know the actor we have in mind. His name is William Bolden. But you won't be dropping in to see him here in Hollywood, because you two are going for your chaperone dream date to Bill Holden's world-famous safari club in Kenya, Africa. <laughs> Africa, where you'll be the guests of William Holden at the exclusive Mount Kenya Safari Club, which boasts among its members such celebrities as Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, John Wayne, and President Johnson. A playground and a paradise, the Mount Kenya Safari Club is a natural center for seeing East Africa with the maximum of comfort. You'll go on your own photographic safari to shoot the animals in their natural habitats. You... <laughs> You'll spend the night in the fantastic treetop house where the beasts of prey come to water far below. All right, Groucho. At the Mount Kenya Safari Club, you can enjoy a heated pool, golf course, riding facilities, tennis and fishing, and always just beyond is the jungle, the plains, and the towering mountains of East Africa. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. The dynamic duo of comedy is back for another round. Sanford and Son are next on TV 44.